we will have a, a new leadership uh, not only here in uh, Manila with the new head of delegation, but also of course in Brussels. So uh, I'm very interested in seeing if uh, the new commission, the new HRVP, the new High Representative for Foreign Policy, uh, will uh, redirect a bit the way that we look at the Philippines, the way we do business with the Philippines. That's going to be exciting to see because we'll have a, a new high representative who's going to be there for five years. It's also a Spanish national, uh, Mr. Powell, so uh, the links, traditional links between Spain also and the Philippines would be exciting to see how he will focus on that and uh, what will his policy be towards the Philippines. What, what do you see, Ambassador, regarding the growth and the contribution that the uh, EU will continue to give to the Philippines? I see it as a very straightforward. I mean, we are, in fact, in terms of values, in terms of culture, in terms of history, very close to each other. So I think uh, this deep relationship that we have will continue to grow and develop. Yeah. If there's one thing that you will miss in the Philippines, what do you think that is? The people. The people. Any message to our Filipino people? I think to keep the good qualities that you have, the uh, happiness that, uh, that you have in, the, in your population, uh, the way you take care of each other in the family, uh, to keep that. And also maybe to see that you integrate so easily with the world when you're abroad. So also in your policies at home, to continue to integrate with the world outside. Any message to the young people that you will leave, that you love? The young people, uh, we have a lot of hope in you. And uh, work hard, not only for yourself, but also for your country. Thank you so much, Ambassador.